Good okay. morning, everyone. Good. It's 851. Yes. Welcome That's back to the program. Lou and Jackie here along with our good friend John DeCoss. He's at the Funny Bone tonight, and he's going to be there tonight. Mike Epps will be at the Funny Bone tomorrow. But if you want to see this guy, you need to head on over there a little later on this evening. Now, this you have opened, and we were just uh, chatting uh, off air. You've uh, opened for some uh, pretty prominent names in the world of entertainment. Well, that comes with being doing it for as long as I have. It's through osmosis. You just end up, you just end you up know, doing yeah, it. Yeah, okay. myself, you know, but yeah. Uh, uh, well, I, we were talking about it. I did the, the audience warm-up for Jenny Jones back in 91 to 94, then Oprah for about eight years. Wow, that they, long. Yeah, but depending on what they needed. If it was a funny show where they had a, then they're like, oh, we need a warm-up. If right. it was serious, they Not didn't want a warm-up. Obviously, yeah. And then she left, and then Rosie O'Donnell mm -hmm. took over Harpo Studios. Right. And I did that for two years. Wow. And that was every day, and that was wonderful. That was I love wonderful. it. If, if I had a list of jobs, I've always wanted to try to do a warm-up act. I'm not a comedian, but I think just getting people excited and saying a couple I could of funny see, yes, things, yeah. I think that would be a blast. And that's kind of what it is. You're just a little cheerleader. Yeah. And, you know, find out about them and play off. And, but Rosie was great. They were all great. They were all very supportive. And... They let me do what I wanted to do, so it was fun. It that was a works. lot of fun. And, and they paid me a lot of money. <laughs> that helps, too. <laughs> that helps, too. Which was great. Too. Which was now, great. you have a lot of fun on your radio show uh, a lot in of the fun. morning in Chicago. Yeah. 720 AM is where it's located, by the way. You can't get it here occasionally, too. So. I was going to say, you yeah. know, the last time I was here, mm -hmm. I turned it on, and I got it. Yeah. And I'm like, that's If Lou crazy. and I are standing on a ladder holding some aluminum foil, <laughs> we get it in clear as a bell. Is it, it, oh, that's good. good. <laughs> so it's convenient. It's convenient. <laughs> yeah, it's convenient. Yeah, that that's it, the it just happens to punch in yeah, there. Right. But you do characters on the program, and that's you've done a ton of them. A ton of them, which uh, we, I think we added, I told you, 76 characters, which is ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, and it doesn't, and then you don't even think about this. Somebody put this all together. But uh, one of my favorite, their favorite characters, the old coach who calls, and all he does is slam Steve. He just slams the host of the show. And that's all he does on the phone. I, I go in the studio, another studio, and I call on the phone, you know, and it's just like he's like, so, so say for example, if the coach would call in about the Bears game last night, that is not, was it a football game? That was, what was that? That was Pee Wee's. That's what it was. I didn't even know what they're doing. I don't, what was it? What was the joke? I, um, I'll tell you, Cochran, if it was, uh, if I had a choice between you and eating glass, I'd be sitting with a big bowl of window. <laughs> So he's just horrible. He's just this horrible. But they love it. The audience, I think they just like him being slammed. Mm -hmm. So, you know. So, and then Borislav is a bobcat. Bobcat, are they, they have bobcats here, don't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are they up. endangered? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily you know? say. I, no, I, I, they're not very common. Yeah, they're not okay. common. So we, they, cha they had a rule in, in Illinois. So they're trying to uh, save the bobcats. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I, I don't know why. So I was a bobcat. I'm always these animals. <laughs> You're, an You're animal. a bobcat? Like, but it was the bobcat, and I, I came in for pies pizza. I came for pies pizza to stay by bin. You know, the, the bin? Where you stay by the bin? Uh, the what? The millennium bin. The bin, <laughs> you know. And I was, so I have to always call back as Borislav, who is trying to be the mascot of Northwestern University. Okay. And they're not letting him in. No. No, he's like, I don't know why they don't let me go. It's I have to be, to say. I stay by the bin, have pies pizza. <laughs> So it's stupid. <laughs> it's just silly. Uh, according to Google, bo the bobcats are a population that is stable. The lynx, however, is a threatened species. I don't know if you're... So is that a character? I don't do a lynx. You're not doing a lynx. I can't do a lynx. <laughs> okay, so it's, a, it's, a work on. it's a union thing. <laughs> For 2019? This is awkward yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> but see, it just gives you some ideas of what things you can do. But it looks like you're, you're, yeah. start, you're trying to stay in shape while you're going to the gym. <laughs> no, you're so funny. But I, uh, and I was going to say, I, since I was here last, I have a brand new knee. Oh, good for you. Total knee replacement and this one being replaced in October. All right, so, so you're going to be doing marathon soon. No, <laughs> a, a marathon bar. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be clear. Let's you like that caramel. Anyway. I do, and yeah. it lasts a long time. No, I will not, I'm not doing that. But it's, yeah, it's really, and my wife, we've been married 33 years. Well, congratulations. But my wife, God bless her, she's a little lady. I mean, she's a little tiny lady. So she's very pleased that I can keep up with her and walk around now. So, but it's it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. So That's great. Good. So it's you're good to good. go then? Okay. No, no, but, but um, you will be better. after the next knee replacement. Yeah, actually yeah. it's pretty good now. So, yeah, I, I was going to put it off, but you have to wait six months yeah and they, they go we'll do it right away and I was very lucky so okay. good surgeon and everything. so after you get the second knee replaced then uh, maybe the Chicago Marathon uh, might be in your future I would say or I'm gonna do Junior Olympics next year are you okay good yeah. for you. I'm gonna <laughs> pretend I'm Bobby and I'm 11 <laughs>
I'm gonna go that for should that. fly, no problem. <laughs> that was that was one of the funnier lines from last night too. When, oh, that guy! When, when there was a, there were so many people at the funny bone last night. It was great. And he asked, "What are you here for?" And he said, "Junior Olympics." And you said, "How old are you?" <laughs> but he must. I, I, how how many? Would uh, you say thirty thousand people? Yeah, yeah. When you consider the athletes and their and the parents, they're young, and, so they're having their parents and grandparents who are here to support them. That's amazing. And, and we, I did kind of stop the show and did a promo for them because awesome. I thought that was great. That's I thought great. That was, that was All right, great. folks, you got to go see him, folks. Oh, uh, so John DeCoste, Funny Bone. Thank you so much. You're, thank you. We'll be back.